Hello everyone, I'm Mario and I welcome you to the DIY Carpenter channel. I am going to share with you all the knowledge that I gained in 20 years of building plywood furniture. In my tutorials you will see tools, tips and tricks, accessories and designing software so you can design and build your own furniture and more. So let's stop talking and let's get to work. In this video I will show you through numerous examples how useful and necessary this tool is in the world of carpentry and furniture production. I use this tarot combination square extensively in all my projects. In the furniture world this tool is also known as a combination square and has multiple applications in this trade. I will reveal some of them in this video. With this device you can check if the plates have angles of 90 or 45 degrees after cutting. In terms of drawing, this combination square is very useful. Whether we want to create perpendicular lines on the edge, at fixed points with the help of a ruler, as in this example, or we need to draw parallel lines to the edge of the panel we are working on. We can set the distances accurately on the ruler of the square and we can even draw lines at 45 degrees. If we want furniture that is correctly made, useful and durable, it is mandatory that it is constructed from panels with angles of 90 degrees as well as the joints between furniture panels. Therefore, drawing lines and intersections of lines are a basic principle and procedure in carpentry. The device consists of two main pieces a steel ruler and a handle that slides on this bar with a nut that tightens the fixing screw when we want to set this combination square to the desired measurement. Next I will make a cutout with a router according to the following contour. The combination square is also suitable when we need to trace the contour of a square. It has an integrated pointer that we can use to mark the exact centers of future holes.
we can also make markings on certain materials. The device even comes with a small level. The tutorial becomes even more interesting. You will see, dear viewer, how I make some basic settings for the table saw. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I use this stared combination square extensively in all of my projects. I have just purchased a new one and this is how I got the idea for this video. You can see the wear and tear on the old one, the numbers are almost gone. Continuing the list of features and benefits. With this combination square you can work easily whether you are right-handed or left-handed. In addition, Whenever you need to install a door or doors on your furniture, you can confidently rely on this tool. You just need to set the started combination square to 37mm and draw a line from the edge of the panel to secure the door to the furniture bodies. Remember, this measurement is important and will help you. We use 3.5 by 18 wood screws to attach the door to the body and make sure to set the drill so that we don't over tighten the screws. Now, let's move on to the topic of bloom cabinet connectors, which are so necessary for joining furniture panels. Here, I emphasize that the graded ruler gives us a helping hand in accurately checking the depths needed to insert the connectors. The same procedure applies to hinge holes. I check if the depth obtained after drilling with the 35mm router bit is correct. Regarding the placement of hinges on the door, I take this opportunity to reveal my technique. I use a ruler or, if necessary, another door or front. This way I make sure that the hinges are attached perpendicular to the edge and I screw 3.5 by 16 screws with the drill set correctly. In the description of this video, I will leave a link to other videos related to this combination square. Returning to the topic at hand, we see that the markings on the back of the steel ruler are expressed in inches, another advantage.
a simple way to see if the combination square is manufactured correctly and indeed indicates 90 degrees is as follows. Draw a perpendicular line with a pencil, flip the combination square and position it in the same place. Then mark again with the pencil. If the two lines obtained overlap perfectly, then the combination square is calibrated correctly. This tool was invented as early as 1879 by American I.S. Starrett, hence the name of the tool. Thank you very much for watching, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check out my other interesting tutorials.